How's it go guys? I'm Dr. Zed, just like here enjoying the ride. Uh, make sure I didn't let my phone. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, it's just been really cold and like school started up about a month ago now. But there's always that. Kind of takes priority over everything. Ah. I've been, uh, I got cobalt out once, uh, with a friend, that was fun, he has a quad, so it was a little bit weird, like, I could, I couldn't do the low speed stuff that he could, but I could also get through areas that he could not, uh, it was a bit of a learning experience there. Hopefully my audio is coming through. I haven't tested this setup for like uh, over a month now. I got my wisdom teeth pulled at the beginning of this year. That was another reason why I wasn't riding. But that was a that was quick and mostly painless. Like there wasn't any pain that there wasn't supposed to be. So I guess I guess you could call that painless because you do anything on your mouth and it's gonna hurt. That was a nice turn. I think that was a... That doesn't look like a Grom. I don't know what type of bike that was. I went to class earlier today and it was... Woo! It was cold! I had, on, I had a sweater on underneath my jacket. And then... Glove liners on, and it was still too cold. Wasn't warm enough. Uh, did not get down to freezer last night, but oh my gosh. The day before, it was like 30 degrees at the morning, like early, early morning. Um,. But then it was, then it was like in the, the low 80s. Like what the heck? I guess that's just some of the quirky weather you have to deal with when you live in the desert. Oh, uh, here's a Kool-Aid man. <laughs> I haven't done much bike stuff lately. I took a little bit of a ride with some friends. It's always nice to run with people. I did get the oil change on Susie again. What the heck? That's an abomination. Uh, I did the, get the oil change again. Um, So she's running all nice and doesn't have that old like the old oil ping ping ping. There's something about old oil that makes it like ping, not in a bad way, but you just know from the sound of it that yeah, it doesn't get in the right lubrication. Very slight on mine uh, because I do. I do really frequent oil changes, probably more frequent than I should, I think it's like a thousand miles short of what I need, or what their manual recommends, but I live in a sandy, dry environment. I mean, on one hand, you don't need to worry about any of the water getting into it like you would in the northwest, but... do have to worry about. Oh, I need to get over. Sand and stuff in the air. Pretty hostile climate.
Well, that was the closest I've ever had to a wreck. That was close. Okay, I think I'm good now. I almost see that ambulance. Oh, that's nice that she apologized. Probably should stay off her blind spot though. Unless that happen again. What the? Oh. Get me away from all these snowbirds. Well, I'm uh, a little bit shaken up by that encounter. So if you guys like what you see and want to see more, uh, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Dr. Zed out.